Welcome back. Adam's here now with Arts and Lifestyle. I it was on holidays. I missed the entire canoodling thing. I heard about it, but you will see the, the latest uh, part, the latest chapter in the canoodle controversy coming up. Uh, but first, the 26th annual Victoria Fringe Festival has begun, featuring performers from around the world staging 55 diverse shows at nine downtown venues. And tonight, a preview of two of the productions debuting this evening, including Melbourne, Australia's Dirk Darrow. Not completely serious, Supernatural. Natural investigator. It is, uh, to my knowledge, the world's only one-man film noir comedy magical mind-reading murder mystery. Part stand-up, part mentalism, all noir. Darrow here. Tim Motley is in the midst of touring his Darrow show around the world, from Adelaide to New York to Edinburgh. The 60-minute production features his character solving a murder with the help of members of the audience. Behind the scenes, though, Motley does everything himself. I'm my own writer, director, actor, costume designer, makeup <laughs> artist, travel agent, uh, and publicist. That's what it takes to be a successful fringe performer, right? Well, you can only split the money so many ways, it's not that much money to begin with. Long story short, I broke my number one rule and fell for a client. Uh, I enjoy getting them, yeah, I, and I enjoy uh, pushing envelopes and boundaries and I, essentially, I do it because I love it. Dick Darrow, not completely serious supernatural investigators, being staged at the Downtown Activity Center at 755 Pandora. Sure. Uh, we're Hit Bang, and I uh, would take uh, one suggestion and go for 50 minutes. To get us going, what's, what about a word that's like really uh, powerful, like a big, powerful word? Avocado. Nice, avocado. avocado. Okay, cool. cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's how a Hit Bang show begins. Uh, just one audience suggestion that will then be turned into a 50-minute improvised comedy show. It's a concept that's allowed the Vancouver duo to earn kudos across North America, including New York City, where critics praise them for being world-class and totally engrossing. One of the best things about improv is the discovery you have on stage. You don't know what's going to happen, you don't know what your partner's going to do, um, and with long-form you just take that even further and, and find yourself in positions that are even crazier. Imagine, if you can, that you've never grown up and you're still a kid and you still get to go out and like just play and make believe and have fun, and that's what we get to do. Hip Bang is performing at Fringe Venue 1, that's the Victoria Event Center on Broad Street, uh, for a full schedule and tickets for this and all the shows. You can visit victoriafringe.com. Finally this hour, CTV Vancouver Island and our canoodle confusion has made CNN. It's that time of the program, The Ridiculous. Tonight, we're talking about adventures in local news, starting with a little impromptu vocabulary lesson. When trying to segue from one story uh, to another, a, a news anchor in Canada learned the hard way that a certain word doesn't mean quite what he thought it did. Take a look. Astrid and Andrew's blooper made it onto AC360's The Ridiculous last night. Anderson Cooper showed his viewers what happened, and then he added his own thoughts. Wah, wah. Canoodling, kissing, cuddling, canoodling. Not to be confused with noodling, which can mean casually improvising music or catching catfish with your bare hands. Two other things I'm guessing meteorologist Astrid Braunschmidt wouldn't agree to do with him either. Yeah, just last month. Another one of our stories, Joe's barbecue chip bandits also made the ridiculous. As for the canoodle, well, it's been viewed on YouTube more than 1.3 million times. The last time I counted. Move over barbecue chips. Yeah. Old news. Yeah, your your buddy Anderson. Talking you notice how he always colors. says up in Canada. It's never Vancouver Island. Someone said it, but Anderson Cooper. It's always Canada. Yeah, just generically Canada. Up, up there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too.